Welcome back, and welcome back to the Mac Pro. Now, these days I usually use this machine in Windows, um, except when I'm editing videos, which I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a bit of a lull in recently, and that's because, well, Sixth Form is quite busy. But today we are doing something interesting because, if you remember, this is running macOS Mojave version, some probably something out of date actually. Uh, let's have a look. No, 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 it's running 10.14.6, the most up-to-date version of Mojave, and it says Mac Pro early 2009 because this is a 2010 model, but, well, it's a 2009 model that's been flashed. So, my goal for today is to install macOS Catalina. Now, these machines don't support macOS Catalina natively, however, this isn't a problem because your friend and buddy, DosDude1, who is also here on YouTube, I'll put a link to his channel in the description, if I remember, he has created a tool that allows you to easily install macOS Catalina on an unsupported Mac. Now, Catalina is currently kind of still in... I class a .0 release as beta, to be honest, but given that I use Windows and Linux a lot more on this computer anyway, and I've got my MacBook Pro if something goes wrong, which I'm definitely keeping on Mojave until like point two comes out at the very least because I use it for school. Well, I'm going to be installing it on here and testing it out because why not? And if something goes wrong, well, it makes good video content and I can install Mojave again anyway. So, let's see. I believe... Yep, it's downloaded. So we're going to quit Safari because we don't need it. And we're going to open my downloads folder. Uh, and it's on the wrong one. That's what give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And in here. Now there's two of them because. No, no, there isn't. One of them's my Harvey. All right, I'm going to open this. Um, and it's going to mount here. Now there are a few small issues with doing this. The first one is, well, uh, let's see. <laughs> you may notice it's on the wrong monitor again. This is my applications folder, and if we scroll, well, there's this Adobe folder, and if we open it. No, maybe not in there then. Yeah, I've got CS5.1, which came out in 2011. It's not... Well, it's actually CS5.5, I believe. Which means it's 32-bit and it's not supported by Catalina. However, I'm not too worried about this because... I do, First of all, I can't use these Adobe apps anyway. But also, I'm planning on eventually keeping a Mojave partition around. I'll reinstall it on something else for these apps and things like that, because I don't use them. If anybody's going to use them, it's going to be me, mother, because she wants to learn Ill Illustrator. So, we'll see. But let's paste this into the Applications folder. Wait for it to copy. There we go. I'm going to open this. Oh yes, I forgot you have to open like this because otherwise it thinks it's not trusted. Let's press open here. And there we go. Continue. Awesome. Uh, download a copy. Because this machine won't let me download it, obviously. My MacBook will, and I have, but... It seems to have gone missing. I can't remember where I put it, so, you know. Start download. Now, this is a big download, it's about 5 gigs. Mind you, that's smaller than Mojave was, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to wait for this to complete, and I will be back shortly. So, it finally downloaded, and I am currently patching it. I completely forgot to record the bit where I selected, install to this machine, but that's literally all I pressed, and it's going now. So, yeah, I'll wait for this to complete, and I'll be back again. This is going to take a little while, probably not as long as it's going to take as it took to download, it was actually 8 gigs, not 5 gigs. I completely forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back shortly. So unfortunately, it appears that I lost the part of the video where I 
tried to install Catalina this way using the sort of built-in method of updating that doesn't require you make installation media. But what I can do now is cut to when it restarted for the first time. So really all you've missed is me opening the install macOS Catalina app and clicking on a few buttons to try and install it and then um, watching a progress bar for a little bit of a while so you haven't missed much. But anyway, yes, I will cut now to when the computer first restarted. So it restarted, and actually it's just restarted again, I missed the other screen, but obviously I don't have a supported video card anyway, so um, you wouldn't have seen much anyway. I'm going to wait for this to boot up. Hopefully it'll give me a screen. If it doesn't give me a screen, I can hopefully do it with voiceover. Um, we're about to find out. It just, it just bonged, so we'll see what happens. That's a good sign. It just uh, mounted one of the hard drives in here. And that's a good sign. That was the graphics card initialising. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now, can I turn on voiceover? And what? Welcome to Mac OS. Oh, it's already gone. Applications. Finder, applications, window. Oh, it just kept this open. Okay, well, we can close this. We don't need that. Now, did it actually work? That's the question. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this one handed. Yes, I can. About this Mac. It's still on Mojave, so what happened? Well, I have no idea. But let's switch back to a screen recording and figure it out. Take two, I have Disk Utility open here, and we're going to format this memory stick. Uh, let's see, yeah. This SanDisk Ultramedia. I'm going to erase it because I'm going to put the installer on an actual memory stick. Just call it untitled, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. White Apple partition map, I don't know, but I want to your ID. It is. It's creating the partition map. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the installer on a memory stick rather than trying to just do it on its own. So I'm gonna open the downloads folder. Oh, I don't need to open this. <laughs> it's already in my applications folder. Uh, applications. Open this. Continue. 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 I, I saw that this had an update since I last looked at this. Um, and that SSE 4.2 emulation is now a thing. So you, all of you with 2008 Mac Pros can now use AMD graphics cards. Um, that hasn't happened since this video started. I've just noticed it now. I go to the folder. There's the application. Create a bootable installer. Why is there no options in there? This might be an accessibility issue. I might just be able to press start. No, I can't. That's weird. What if I unplug this and plug it back in again? I'm fully aware of that. Huh. I don't know whether this is just a voiceover bug or what, but what if I just click on this? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I'm guessing this is an accessibility issue. It's kind of annoying me. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll eject storage. I'll eject Win10OS. 
I only jacked that as well. Right, so literally the only two discs are Macintosh HD and Mac OS Catalina. Uh, and, uh, untangled. So now, this should work, right? Okay, well, let's just go back. Oh, but it says there are items now. That's a good sign. Ah, there we go. That's a bit annoying. Um, I may get in touch with Dustude to see if he can fix that. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Password. And it's going, so I will see you when we try to boot from this, which is probably not going to be fun at all. Because as you are probably aware, this Mac doesn't have a boot screen. I may have to put the other graphics card in here temporarily so I can get a boot screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. We'll see. I selected the untitled memory stick in startup disk preferences, so we should be booting from that now. Um, we'll, we'll see. God knows with this thing. I wonder if it's is it flashing. Yes, that is flashing. So I think it is going to boot up to the right thing here. We'll see. Um... I have no idea. Let me give you a bit more light. That's better. Right. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to get a display here because the Mojave setup didn't give me a display. Although, weirdly, I'm pretty sure I've been in the recovery since then and it has given me a display. So I'm wondering if that was something to do with the fact that the firmware needed updating originally or something like that. This takes quite a while because it's a USB 2 bus. I really need to get a USB 3 card for this thing. Um, so I suppose I'll be back when it starts up. It's started up, no display unfortunately, but I do have voiceover. So I'm going to go reinstall macOS, continue. I wonder if I can turn this up. Doesn't look like it. Continue. Agree. Agree. There you go. Install. And it's working. I think. Well, it hasn't. hasn't started yet, like, but uh, it's not stopping me. Which it was when I just tried to run the installer because I was curious as to what it would do. I just tried to run the installer from Mojave and it didn't let me then. There we go. It's going. I need to change my voiceover settings so I can actually hear what the progress is. There we go. I will be back when something interesting happens. Yes, it's worked, guys. So, I let it reboot into the voice installer 2 phase and it worked fine. And voiceover notified me that macOS Catalina Patcher is launched in the background, so clearly it installed all the patches. And we are here, now I should be able to turn on voiceover. Something slightly confusing is I've changed my keyboard map so the command is map to alt. So it's kind of sometimes hard to tell which one it's going to use. Right now it's using the default. And the whole screen's gone black, why is that? What's going on here, is it rebooting for some reason? No, 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 that's my desktop, okay. Interesting. Is that my desktop? Let me turn on voiceover again. Which now it's using the other key, it's using the alt key. Now, so. Ah, it's all working. Right, I'm going to set this up and I'll see you at the Catalina desktop. We're in. Uh, there wasn't many prompts, it was just one about screen time and one about app analytics. And then if we go talk about this Mac. Which monitor is it on today? It's over here. <laughs> Mac Pro early 2009, all the same specs. But 10.15. Mac OS Catalina, it's installed. Um, and I've had no problems so far. Now is patch update on here. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know why everything keeps going over here. I'm going to check for patches. Quick navigation, install night shift patch, legacy audio patch, text check mark, night shift patch, text name, legacy audio patch, 
size. Four install night shift size. Four megabytes. One megabyte. Out horizontal the text. This patch will enable night shift on unsupported machines. All credits for the methods used in this patch go to the corral for at HTTPS. Cool. And four megabytes this, one? Text. this patch fixes an issue where unsupported systems would not detect the internal audio device under Catalina. I don't think that's a problem here. Because it's working, but we're going to do it anyway. Password. My password. This is hard to type with one hand. Updates. Patch up data. Image. Installing legacy. Sixty-six point seven. Installing. We building cache. Busy. Progress indicator. Updates. Patch up. We building cache. Busy. Progress indicator. So we building the text cache. Updates. Busy. We building text cache. Kernel extensions. For those of you who don't know, although I assume if you're watching a video like this, then you probably know at least somewhat of this. We building cache. Busy. Progress indicator. I'll see you when this is done. This could take forever, and I'm going to have to restart it afterwards anyway. And we're restarted, and everything's fine. But I noticed something really, really odd that's really strange, and I wasn't expecting it at all. Doc. Coming out of the dock, the trash isn't called the trash anymore. It's called the bin. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is Ubuntu Mate 1910 has also renamed the trash to the bin, except. For some bizarre reason in Linux, it's called the waste basket, the bin, the trash, the rubbish bin. It has like 400 different names, so that's probably why they renamed it. But that is the weirdest thing ever. After using macOS for seven years, it is very strange to see bin instead of trash, because I'm so used to it saying trash. Um, yeah, everything's looking absolutely fine. Obviously, my Adobe apps probably won't work anymore. Let's have a look. Illustrator, because this has. This is, if there's anything I'm going to use, it's going to be this. Open this up. They're doing this one hand is so annoying. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um. I will. I will include. I will install a Mojave partition somewhere else so I can run that or High Sierra or something like that. I have all of the macOS versions downloaded. I could honestly put this thing on Lion if I wanted to. So. Yeah. Okay. I think we've achieved our goal here, folks. If you liked this video, then give it a like. If you didn't, then that other button seems to work okay, too. You can comment to tell me why you liked or disliked this video. And leave your thoughts as to what you think about patching old computers to run this. This thing will have no trouble running Catalina. It's an absolute beast. It's, you know, it had no trouble running Mojave, so that's fine. And subscribe if you want to see stuff like this more often, and I'll see you next time. Peace.